All right. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's very strange being able to interact with you because I feel like I'm just watching one of your videos like I always do. Really? You know, you know, the camera in the box. It's just like watching one of your videos, but I'm talking back. <laughs> it's, just, no, it's great. It's a, the, the first time I talked with Rich, it was the same sort of thing. It is a little bit, it's a little bit surreal. A bit, but, I, but I tell you what's surreal is when he stands in your house or when you, when you meet, you know, I, I, I've probably had a chance now to meet, good gosh, probably maybe at least a dozen YouTube fan, I guess, or just people connect with friends. Yeah. And, man, it's, it's crazy every time. It's, it's, it's the coolest thing. Danny Fife and uh, Rich, Rich and uh, uh, Jason, um, Friar Tuck guy, and I'm trying to think who all else. I mean, I've met a, a, a Brian Storowski, and the first, oh, time, wow. first time I met Brian, I actually hired him. I, I oh, hired really? him. Yeah, I hired him to help me shoot a Zoso concert, which is uh, – they come to Indianapolis, I'm sure. They're like the Led Zeppelin uh, tribute band. And so okay. they, they had hired me to shoot one of their couple of their shows, and Brian came out and ran one of the cameras for me because they were going to be in the D.C. area, and Brian's from up there. So it is just oh, crazy, wow. man. It's, and, um, well, i got to ask you, first of all, uh, uh, doing your YouTube channel, have people come up to you yet and said, hey, you're Matt from Matt's Big Dreamer? Have they done that to you yet? Not yet. Not, not a single time has that happened yet. It's coming. <laughs> that's what's really the, the craziest thing is when, uh, it's, uh, now that's happened maybe 30 times so far here. And there are actually people have moved to Morganton because of my videos or to Valde. So about, about five families now, and there's a lady coming down next month or uh, October, and she wants me to show her and her husband around, and they're thinking about moving from Connecticut down here, which is crazy. Oh, I believe it. It's insane, I mean, you, man. Make, you make your area look great. You really do. Well, I mean, I, it is pretty cool. And so that's one of the things I like about your channel is that, you I mean, you're showing me Indianapolis and making it look fun in that whole area. And then you go to places like that water park video was great. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. No, nah, man. I mean, it's, uh, the, the things that um, I'll go ahead and tell you what I admire about you. And so we'll, we'll, I'm putting this out on YouTube. So number one, I think Matt tells a really great story. I think... Uh, I think your angles and your way of editing and putting stuff together, the way you put it together with the music, it, there's nothing wasted. It's all tight. It's tightly edited. And it looks great, and it's colorful, and it's there's an energy there that I don't mm -hmm. see in a lot of people's videos, an energy that's not in my own videos. And, uh, and like, you know, I like the fact that sometimes you'll research a thing like you did with that fountain, that, that frozen sculpture thing that the guy does every year. And you, yeah, you nice know, it was clear that you put a lot of effort into that man and just kept going back. And, and, and it was like a, it was like a little news report, like a documentary or something you'd see on uh, PBS. So yeah. I, 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 I just right away, I said, you know, this guy's got it kind of going on. I, I hope mm -hmm. he ends up with a good channel, you know, with, and sticks with that. So yeah well that, i really really appreciate that a lot that means a lot coming from you and that's really what i'm going for and so i really do appreciate that that you recognize um i you know i think that it is important to tell a good story and um sometimes it comes naturally for a lot of people i understand and i think that's like that with you it's like people see your life and uh and what you you know you put pretty much everything out there at least it seems like it from a viewer standpoint and uh and, and your life is the story you know, when changes happen or, you know, you get a new something or other or, or you review a, a new a new camera or something like that, people are going along, you know, along the ride with you. And, um, you know, I, I tried that a little bit. I just can't stay on top of it enough to keep putting videos out and keep updating and things like that. Um, so I really try to stick with the stuff that are really interesting to me. You know what I mean? And right. I focus all of my video attention on that. What do you, I think you sort of semi answered it anyway, but... What is it that you get out of doing these YouTube videos? What, what, what is the big payoff and reward that you seem to get from it? Um, well, I think the biggest thing is I have a vision, I have a dream, and that's why I call my channel Matt's Big Dream, to, uh, to be like you, to be a guy that is, is doing it all the time, you know, whether it's like I know your full-time job is, is doing this kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and I, you, know, I, you know, people always say if you have a job you love, you don't work a day in your life. I want to be that guy. I want to. I want to do a job I love. And I've always worked, uh, you know, manufacturing jobs and factories and things like that that I don't enjoy too much. It pays the bills, and um, you know, I seem to have a knack for for some of that stuff. But uh, it's not what I love. 
And I think for me, going out and filming and getting those cool angles and it coming together, um, you know, having a vision, e even each particular video, you know, uh, having, okay, I, I seen something interesting. I want to make a video. This is how I want it to go. Oh, it'd be cool if it looked like this and from this angle. And, you know, then this happened. And sometimes there's a twist in it or things like that, you know. And then when it comes together and I don't know, I get that uh, that joy when the video's done. You know, I, I don't know if you do this, but sometimes on the videos like the little water park when it turned out really well, I'll watch my own video 10 times just because, you know, I, I look not only looking for things I could have done better and things like that, but just to go, wow, wow all right, it, you know, I did it. it you know, it, that, that worked out the way I thought it did, you know, I wanted it to or whatever, and uh, and I get a little sense of satisfaction. Right. Well, um, I, I'll, I'll tell you some things I do like, uh, especially when I watch the water video. And, and so, folks, when you go watch Matt's videos, check that one out. It's a water park. What was the name of that water park again, Matt? Uh, Freedom Springs Aquatic Center, Freedom Springs Aquatic Park. And, and is that in the Indy area? Yeah, it's in Greenwood, Indiana, which Green. is just like a suburb south of Indianapolis. And uh, it's a brand new water park this summer was the first year. And actually, a funny thing is they had a terrible year. Their really? First year. They, they spent millions of dollars on this thing. But this summer for us has been very rainy. So they closed a lot for storms and lightning and things like that. Uh, then they flooded once, which was a big problem because then sewage and things could get into the water and they can't open for days. Um, there was just a lot of different things that happened. I think even opening the park, the big, and it just seemed to plague them all summer long, different problems and things. And a lot of people complained and stuff like that, but they can't control things like that. They built yeah. a fantastic park. And if you went at the right time, like we did, and, you know, it was an amazing place to spend a day, you know? So. Yeah. Well, the, the thing I like is the way you mix the action shots, imaginative shots, uh, a lot, lots of you know, the stuff underwater. You clearly had your daughters and maybe your wife, too, holding the GoPro sometimes. Yeah. But, but, but then you'd have a nice, well-set-up shot, like, well, like it's on a tripod or something, and very still and steady. And, yeah. and, and, and you know, it was like I, I watched and I said, you know, why don't I do more of that? You know, it's... It's almost like you're putting real establishing establishing shots. It's almost like you're you're a little bit of a student of film or something. I mean, do you to what extent do you see stuff online or, or see stuff on television shows and try to emulate it? Uh, all the time, all the time. And um, usually, I try to focus on one improvement at a time. And I've gotten so much better, in my opinion, than you know when I first started. Um, you know, I, I started off basically doing slideshows for my family with pictures and things and putting some music to it. And then I went, what if I could put some video? And then what if I could do this? And then I, I keep getting a new idea that'll make things a little better. And that was one of the recent ones was uh, I decided, you know, what if, you know, not just using my GoPros, but I took my other cameras um, and put it on a tripod and got some great shots. And what really inspired me to do it is I wanted to show you this too. This is, um, this is my cell phone. Yeah. And you see that? Yeah. It's a it's very strange for a cell phone. It's a Windows phone. And huh. it's made by Nokia, which is now bought out by Microsoft. Um, and the case that's on it is made by Microsoft. It's a, made just for this phone. And it's got a tripod connector. Sweet. Um, it's, it's called a camera grip case. So it's got a good grip for you here. And then it's got a huge shutter button up here. And the reason they did it for just this phone is because it's got a Zeiss Optics PureView 41 megapixel pixel camera holy crap uh, yeah it's huge and the sensor is huge and then it's you know it shoots 1080p and all that and i didn't even yeah you know, i thought oh, that'd be great to take pictures of the kids and just to, you know uh and m when i bought it it was more like I, I love windows phones already this has got a cool camera i'll have some cool photos i've never been much of a photographer but i thought hey i can get some great photos and then i started finding out how great it is especially with the video um, it, it makes the, the video from it makes the GoPro video look washed out. Yeah. The colors pop and yeah. all that. And I actually, that was one of the first times on that video, the water park video, that I actually tried uh, some of the color grading that I actually learned from you. And uh, what I tried to do was match the GoPro footage to the footage I was getting from this phone. And, and that's why the whole I think the whole video looks more vibrant. Yeah, you yeah. It, it really popped, man. It looked great. And, yeah. uh, uh, you know, that with this, like I say, you know, that I like. I like your style a lot. I like your storytelling. I like the fact that you, there, there's like no wasted space. I mean, you, you, you're a good editor. You don't bore us ever. Um, the, uh, you, you know, I don't know. To, to me, it's just like, 
I don't know, Indiana. I never would have thought that, you know, that somebody would make these little places around Indianapolis seem really interesting. I mean, I, you know, the times I've been to Indiana, again, no, no, no uh, disrespect to Indiana, but, you know, I, I've hauled it up through there a number of different times. And just seen lots of flat land and, and corn and stuff and yeah. and and and, 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 and a lot of it I'm just finding out. Yeah, and and, and like you're showing me these beautiful was born and raised here, and yeah. I have no idea that some of these places that I'm finding. And now that I'm looking uh, for you know for things for my channel, and this summer has really been big for me because I made you know I dedicated myself to to get out more, to get out with my family more, and that's a big thing too. Is that this is become a you know a family affair even though i'm the one that's the face of it and i'm the one who's editing it and all that stuff like that my family really do get into it, especially my kids they love it and uh, they're willing to help wherever they can and uh and so we you know we, we enjoy this time together even if i got nothing else out of it that is worth it yeah because we go together and discover some new place and i'd like to tell you about a, a new video i got coming up because we just discovered a new place yesterday me and my wife found this um place called uh, the exotic feline rescue center huh. and uh, they rescue big cats wow and in indiana i guess the laws are very loose on owning these cats which allows this place to run here but also allows people to have try to get them as pets when they shouldn't and things like that and so that's the reason this place has to exist it's one of the biggest in the nation they've got about 200 big cats here wow and um, there is really really neat place i mean uh they're they're well taken care of they're not tame in, in any way they're they have huge enclosures they're allowed to be wild no uh employees of the place ever try to even go into the cages with them ever then they don't they're not cuddly cats at all they're wild animals and they're treated that way and they're 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 well kept they have veterinary service and all that and so it's much different than going to a circus or a zoo and trying to watch them do tricks and you know whatever but it, you get to see every kind of cat there is and all that. And it was really, really neat. And I had no idea that Indiana had this place. That you know, is going to be awesome to see. I'm going to, I'm going, well, you know, I'm glad you brought up your family too. Cause one of my questions I was going to ask you is, I was going to say, well, what does your wife or what do your wife and daughters think about your YouTube efforts? Uh, so, so you, you, they are enjoying it, right? They don't think you're a big old geek or anything for this. Yeah. Well, I got to say my wife, I do drive her nuts sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I don't think she thinks I'm a big old geek, but um, I think sometimes she uh, she just she just gets overwhelmed because uh, you know that's all you know. I anytime we want to go somewhere, uh, I, you know I'm always going. Well, it's got to be a new place that we ain't been. It's got to be a you know something interesting. It's got to be something I can film. You know? and, and that's all I'm thinking about. Where she's thinking of you know I wanted to go somewhere romantic or I wanted to go somewhere where the kids will have fun, whether we've been there or not. You know, um, so I, I know I do drive her crazy. But most of the time, she she's she's very helpful with it, and and she encourages me a lot, and she likes it. She does. Um, she I think she likes that I have a hobby and that I uh, I enjoy it so much because there's sometimes when she'll go, I wish I you know had a hobby like that. And I, I know she does, but she sees me how how much I get into it, and she just you know is just wow. You know, you just you know don't stop with the YouTube stuff. You've you know. got uh, you got something like what three hundred fifty or so subscribers now, uh, uh, or uh, is it more than that no, now? No, uh, three hundred and twenty-three. Well, so you're getting up there, and uh, I mean that that it's funny. I remember when I first hit five hundred, and it wasn't that long ago. It's funny how what starts happening is um, is you know it takes a while for people to catch on and to learn who you are and what you are and what you're about and. Uh, and for certain videos to reach a, a level where people find, you know, like, like if you've done a video about X, Y, Z, whatever it is, and you've only got 100 views, once the, once the video gets to like 400 or 500 views, then people start exponentially watching it more because they say, oh, there's a video that's been watched more. And so yeah. it's funny how it starts to snowball after a while. The, the thing I, I think is interesting, Matt, and I think what you're going to find is very cool, is, um, you know, I doubt if, I doubt if uh, five years ago, 300 people in the world even knew I existed. You know, family, right. friends, some folks I went to school with, people I work with, a few. And now it's crazy, dude. I mean, uh, yeah. so, you know, I got about 8,500 subscribers. And, um, and, and you know, it's still, it's still not a whole lot. But, again, you know, the video's been watched about four and a half million times. And, and once again, still not a whole lot considering how many videos I have out there. But, but what you're doing is you're building a legacy. 
and, and, and whether it gets a lot of views or not, that somebody somewhere is going to watch some of those videos and they'll be around for years and years, even after you're gone, you know? And, yep. and, and it's like Matt was here and Matt took us to see this at this point in time. He was there. I think what we're doing is of, of huge historical significance, whether it is social or financial or what, you know, I'm not making a lot of money doing this, but I'm having right. a killer fun time. Right. And, and, and I get compliments almost every day. Once in a while, you get a troll saying some kind of crap about you, but you just delete that and go on. It, it is, it's awesome. It, YouTube, to me, is this phenomenal way to make a mark on the world, you know, to say, hey, yeah. I was here, and I, and uh, this was important to me and special, and hope you dig it, you know. And that's yeah. uh, that, that's what I get out of it. And, I, and so I'm, I'm hoping you get the same. I'm, I'm wishing for yeah. you the same thing, man, you know. Yeah, I do. Me and my wife were just talking about this recently, actually, and, and the subscriber thing, too, and that, you know, yeah, you know, 300 doesn't seem like a lot, but, uh, you know, I think back to the beginning of the summer when I don't know if I had 200. So, yeah. you know, it is snowballing. It's, it is. It, it, I, I'm gaining faster and faster, and it's really cool to me. And you think about 300 people are subscribed to what I'm, whatever I'm putting out there. I know. want to see it. That's a, that's cool, you know. It's very and, cool. Uh, and also the legacy thing. We've talked about that, that, you know, no, you know, even if nobody watches it on YouTube, you know, my kids are going to have all of this yeah. content. Yeah. You know, they're going to be able to watch themselves grow up, you know. And I thought about that. Like, how cool would it be? You know, I barely have pictures of when I was a kid. You know, I got probably 40 or 50 pictures of, of me as a kid. But, you know, for my kids to have all these videos of different things. And I haven't been much more, obviously, that I that I have, don't put out on YouTube. Family stuff that isn't so interesting to everybody else, but it's cool to me or it's cool to my family. Um, and, and I also have another channel, my original channel, that isn't all copyrighted material, and I pretty much only use it now for family stuff and things like that. Yeah. So I don't have, it's not monetized, and so I don't use it a whole lot, but, you know, there's old stuff on it, old footage of even my kids as babies and things, so, you know, they'll always have that, I think that's really neat. That is very cool. Well, uh, okay, so I gotta ask this, um, uh... I, I was going to ask, you know, if are, are do you play music? Are you a, a rock star? Because the reason I'm asking this is about the hair. <laughs> yeah. um, no, uh, I, honestly, I have changed my hairstyle a million times in my life. <laughs> uh, I'm the kind of guy that I go, ah, let's try this now. You know, when I was younger, I'd have different color hair and stuff. But I am, I'm a fan of all music. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of country music. I'm a huge yeah. fan of rock music. I mean, there's not much I don't like. Um, I mean, even, you know, my wife is a big fan of hip hop and, and some of that and some of it I really like if yeah. it's good and then some of it I don't, but I think there's in any genre, there's stuff I do and there's stuff I don't like, but I do play guitar. Yeah. Um, I used to work at guitar center ah. and, uh, and, and so I, you know, I, I'm not much of a musician. Um, I have a little bit of a crippled left hand, so I'm not ah. very good with the frets and stuff. I, I cut my finger off when I was a kid and I can't bend Dang, my fingers man. all the way down, Whoa. but it's good for, you know. It's good to get that hand working, you know. It was yeah. one of the reasons I started playing when I was younger, and um, and so I play, I picked around a little bit, you know. I've got a guitar on the wall in there that I try to keep practice with, but I, I haven't did good at much of it. So into the videos and stuff, I would hardly. You you, you you just look you just look like you'd be a rock and roll guy. So hey, uh, so so now pull the ponytail around and show everybody since they don't see it. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's pretty. My hair is really thick and curly, so yeah. it doesn't look as long as it is when it's wet. It's way down my back, and actually. The, it being long now, what happened was um, when I got married, I had it probably about as short as yours, yeah. uh, maybe even a little shorter on the sides. It was faded up. It was like a one on the sides and, and about your, your length on the top. And uh, and that's how I kept it for a long time. And I thought, you know, I'm going to grow my hair out again. And I've done it before, and I ended up donating it all to the Locks of Love. Oh, and, cool. Uh, and that's what I said I was going to do when I grew it. That was my excuse to grow it out was, hey, if I grow hair, I can donate to Locks of Love. That's awesome, yeah. And so, uh, but then I kept it short for a year or two, and uh, I talked about it with my wife a little bit. Like, I think after we get married, I'm going to I'm gonna grow my hair out. And, we, and she kind of went, I don't know if I'll like that, and we went back and forth. <laughs> and then we went on our honeymoon, and uh, one of the places we went on our honeymoon was Jamaica. And, you know, they got the Rastafarians. Yeah. And, like, right, like, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and it was really interesting. I love different cultures and stuff, and I loved all the places we went on my honeymoon. Um, uh, like, three different countries. But in Jamaica, I talked to some of the Rastafarians, and I asked them, you know, one of them had just said something out of the blue about you can rec you can recognize who is Rastafarian by the dreadlocks. And yeah. in, in, in other parts of the world, people do it for no reason. Here, if they have dreadlocks, they're 99% of the time they're Rastafarian. If they do not, they're not Rastafarian, which is kind of like a religion. Um, 
And so I asked him, you know, that led me to, well, why do you, you know, if it's for your religion, what, what's the significance of, of growing the dreadlocks? And he says, uh, it really all it is is about being happy. If, you, if when you find yourself and you feel like you're happy with who you are and the life you have, you don't want to grow, cut your hair anymore. Hmm. It's just the way we feel. You just don't care about your looks too much. I mean, yeah. you do. You know, you keep your appearance yeah. a little bit, but you know, who cares if you've got long hair? You're happy with who you are. And wow. I went, you know what? I'm gonna grow it out. <laughs> so I haven't cut it since my wedding. So it's been uh, two and a half years we've been married. So two and a half years I've I've been growing it. That's cool. Well, so, uh, so, so the, the reason I, I bring the hair and everything up is is you know I used to wear my hair about like yours. Uh, that's really? oh, that's hard for people to believe, you know, but. Yeah, all these guitars and crap back here behind me, uh, it's not for show. I mean, I, I was in bands all through college and everything. And, oh, I believe it. And, and, and yeah, I could tie my hair in a knot under my chin. It was, uh, my hair's kind of thick and weird too, and it was, uh, it would just go every which way. And, and yeah. th there, were, there used to be a show called Taxi, which was a comedy show back in the 70s. And there was a guy named Bobby on it, and uh, people would tell me I had Bobby hair. It looked, it was all kind of, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And, and I was all, you know, I was all skinny then and everything, and and uh, played, you know, played wild, uh, played '80s type, but like Def Leppard and White Snake and Poison and crap like that. It was, it was awesome, you know, it was yeah, for the yeah. time. And and, and then uh, when I got out of college, uh, you know, I had to make a living, and, and you know, naturally, I, I cut the hair off, and um, and it's just never. Every job I've gone into, I felt like I had to look a certain way. Now I'm not talking about like I have to look. Awesome, yeah. I'm, but you know, what I'm saying I had to look, yep. you know. Anyway, I, one of these days I'll get out of this rat race I'm in, and I'll probably end up with long hair again too. <laughs> that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But oh, so see, what else is I going to ask you? I had to. Okay, well, I got to ask you this. What do you like best about living there? Where you where you do? I mean, yeah, you see what I like. I like the Linville Gorge and you know, the mountains and. And just, you know, this day-to-day -day life. But what's really cool to you about Indianapolis and that whole uh, region you're in? Um, I, I think I'm still finding that. I think the, the biggest reason I live here is I have roots here. My family's here. I was born and raised here. I would love to up and travel the world or live in another part of the world for a year or another part of the country or whatever. Um, I'm very interested in traveling. I'm very interested and, and that's one of the things that, that attracts me to your channel is I get to see a little peek in the life of what it's like living in North Carolina. Yeah. And uh, and that's so cool to me because I, I don't know that I'll ever have the chance to do something like that because uh, family is a big thing to me. Yeah. And, all you know, I've got, a, I've got a bunch of brothers and all of us live right here in the central Indiana area. We're all very close and I don't think any of us could ever move that far away for too long. Yeah. You, you got what, like three brothers? Is that right? Yeah, I do have three brothers. The, 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 the reason I know that's because I've looked at your Facebook and I see you with these three other guys a lot of times. I say, well, that yeah. might be his brothers. But anyway, that's I wondered that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, we're very close. Uh, growing up, you didn't need a group of friends because we were our own group of friends. So we're, we grew up very close, you know. Are you, uh, or where are you in the order, one to four? I am the second to the oldest. The second to the oldest, all right. Yeah. I'm the oldest of three brothers. So yeah, I'm, okay. the, I'm, I'm the big brother. And uh, you, you might have seen Tim and Tom on some of the other videos. I don't know, I don't know if you've yeah. how, how oh, deeply yeah. you've dug in there, but they're all, they're both crazy, and they're both like big guys too. Now you're, yeah. you you've told me you uh, so I'm like six two and I weigh like two ninety five or two ninety well about two ninety three. Uh, yeah. And how tall are you, Matt? You're a pretty tall guy, right? Yeah, I'm six four. Wow. And I weigh about two ninety as well. So we're, yeah, you're you're taller. You're more spread because you don't look as heavy as me. So I was yeah. just, just wondering, well, I wow. I, <laughs> I definitely need to lose some pounds. I've been up and down my whole life too. And, but uh, you know, I've, I've, I've heard you say this and I'm the same way. When I get down to 240, people think I'm skinny. I know, right? man. It's like, it's like, I think that whole BMI thing that people follow mm -hmm. is, it's hogwash. It's like, right. you know, I, I saw some stat the other day that, that, uh, you know, so, so a six to 225 pound NFL quarterback is morbidly obese according to bmi right yeah so that's that's screwed up man okay yeah. so, so i gotta ask you so you're a big dude did you play basketball i know you played basketball did you play football yeah. and stuff too not really i i played football for like a, a half a season uh for the boys club 
and I did not like the getting screamed at by the coach. You know, <laughs> yeah. Football, it's a lot different than basketball, where the coach is, yeah. you know, drop and give me twenty, you know, like that kind of thing. And uh, you know, it, it, I didn't like it at all. And my dad let me quit the team. Uh, but I did play basketball a lot, not really for school or anything like yeah. that, but, you know, the boys club and, the, you know, the gym and things like that. And me and my brother all play. Well, you know, to me, it's, 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 there's a lot of things I think we have in common in a way. I think our YouTube channels are similar and, and, oh, and yeah, yeah and I, it's like our objectives seem to be kind of the same. But, you know, you mentioned basketball. And it's almost like basketball in Indiana, I guess, is like basketball is in North Carolina. It's kind of a religion. I mean, you know what I'm yeah. saying? There's so much I great basketball. Like North Carolina. I know Michael Jordan, is, you know, he went to North Carolina, right? Yeah. 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 So I know, I know that you guys have some roots there, but uh, I didn't know it was like that. I know, you know, here it is. You know, it's a, it's a big deal. You know, the movie Hoosiers. Yeah, you know, Hoosiers. Like and, 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 you know, so you got teams like Purdue and you got U U University of Indiana and. Yeah, Indiana State, where Larry Bird played. You got all these, a lot of Indiana teams. You know, here in North Carolina, so we got, you know, Carol, we got UNC, we got State, we got Wake Forest, we got Duke, and then you know, then you have the other smaller teams, UNC Charlotte, and other teams that are usually fairly competitive. Uh, Davidson, uh, where Steph Curry played, and it's it's yeah. it's a interesting. It's a hotbed for basketball around here. So, I, yeah. well, you know, once again, it's, I, I notice I see a lot of sports stuff on your videos. You wearing your Colts shirts and stuff like that. Yep. So are you a big Colts fan? Uh, yeah, I'm a huge Colts fan. Actually, they're playing right now, but it's just the preseason, so yeah. I'm okay missing it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're playing the Bears right now. I'm a huge Colts fan. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Carolina or the, the Panthers are playing uh, the Patriots. So, yes, I'm kind of missing it too. But, yeah, once again, I, I kind of don't tune in until it starts to count, you know, until it starts to mean yep. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Patriots uh, just picked up one of our stars. Really? Who? Reggie Wayne. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, wow. Well, that's well, another target for Brady. For of all time. Yeah, you know, that's he'll 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 fit in well in that. You know, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, he can catch a deflated football really well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know he can catch him with real air in him. We think about such a bitter taste in our mouth because you know we we were we were the team that yeah. that played him during that that cheating game. That for Reggie Wayne to go there, everybody's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> well, you, you're going to. Sh I was going to say, "What have you not shown us yet that you'd like to show us on YouTube?" You mentioned the cats video, but do you have yeah. some big things planned? Some other things you're thinking about about doing? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I want to do something. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the waterfall thing I did. Yes, uh, yes, I did. It was great. Yeah, uh, that that I spent pretty much the whole summer doing that, or any you know time off I had, uh, because a lot of the places that I found to do that were pretty far away. Uh -huh. um, you know, I had to travel two or three hours to get there, and you know, and, and get the shots I needed and things. Um, and I made five different videos. Well, it ended up being a few more, but uh, really five different waterfalls that I featured, and I did it during Shark Week. I tried to catch on with that buzz. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to do Waterfall Week on my channel. Sweet. And so uh, I did it during that. And I want to do something like that again, even if I don't wait another year and do it during Shark Week. Just uh, um, I'm thinking about we've done a lot of covered bridges, historic covered bridges, maybe doing something um, featuring all the covered bridges. Um, wow. There's a lot of zoos, just like this cat place. Uh, there's a lot of places you can see animals here. we got a really good zoo and some aquariums. Maybe doing something like that. I'm not sure. I haven't pinned down exactly what I'm going to do next, but I definitely got some ideas. There's definitely a lot of other cool places um, in the state that I still want to. I'm still want to go see. And, well, one of the things that one of the things surprised me about Indiana, because I, I did a couple of tours up there. I, I used to work for a tour company, Matt, a long time ago. Um, okay. and, and, and yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, I, I, what I did, I did graphic design for them, but and that's really where I started doing the digital video thing. Was there? Uh, because we had a real forward-thinking owner, and he would—it was a company called Christian Tours, and uh, and, and which they're huge here in the southeast, and uh, and, and their owner bought me a digital editing suite because he want—he had VCRs and DVD players, whatever, on the buses. He want people to see other places, so we'd show videos to promote other tours while they're on the tour. Anyway, that's a long story, but we went up to Nap what Napanee and Shipshawana and uh, where the Amish country is up. A lot of people don't realize Indiana's got this huge Amish community up there kind yeah. of in the Northeast. Yeah. And, and that was a great yeah. trip, man. Some awesome food. And uh, that's one of the things I was going to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. What, what is the, what makes for an awesome meal in Indianapolis in your area? Um, 
Taco Bell? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, in the typical places, you know, really, I don't know of uh, anything special to just us. Guys, there's not uh, a regional yeah. thing that Indianapolis is famous for, like Philly's got the cheesesteak or anything like that. Well, yeah, we've got uh, the, the huge, um, you know, I want to call it a pork fritter, but it's not a pork fritter. It's a tenderloin. Wow. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the big yeah, yeah. We have a huge tenderloin, and I guess it's a real famous thing. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been to other states that have, um, a, a, I don't know, a, a map theme. And, you know, you can get a, a New Jersey hot dog or yeah. whatever. And, and, and if they've got something from Indiana, it's a giant tenderloin. Wow. <laughs> that sounds awesome, man. I like that. <laughs> it is really good. It is really good. But every, pretty much every mom and pop type restaurant in, around here sells it. You know, you can get a uh, you can get a huge tenderloin just about everywhere you go here. So I guess that's the the one big thing. My wife loves it more than I do. If they offer it, she gets it. There, there she is now. <laughs> hey, Sarah. She ran out of the room. Oh man, she needs to stick her head in just for a second. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> she doesn't like being in front of the camera. Ah, no she's awesome. Tell she she gotta get that got gotta get that, get that out of the way, man. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, all right, hey, uh, let me ask you this. What do you can okay, if you were to recommend people go to your channel and watch a couple videos, what are the two or three best videos you'd recommend people go to see? What I'll do, I'll put them as links on, on the description of this. My pug just showed okay. up, my bad. <laughs> um, you know, I'd say the water park video. Um, it's one of my newest, and I think, uh, you know, I'm getting better with it. And uh, I, I think the ice tree video. It's pretty killer. Uh, I'm really proud of that one. And actually, the ice tree uh, season is coming up here soon. You know, in the fall is when they start building the structure and getting ready for it. So I'm hoping to go and help them out again. You know, how all that started was I just moved into the neighborhood, found them on Facebook, and they put a call for help on Facebook that they, a bunch of the family members that usually help out couldn't show up, and they needed some people to take some pictures, anybody that had a camera, and some helping hands. And I had both, and it was right down the street, so I grabbed my stuff, and I was the only person that showed up. So they loved me to death. Like, oh, you actually came to help, you know, and they, I helped them build this frame. And so I got to know the family real well, the really, really nice family, and uh, and got to be part of that experience as the ice tree came up. And so, it, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are watching this right now don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And you got to see it. Sense, it's you got to see that video. That yeah. And you'll understand. See, this is the other thing I like about you, man. And and, and hopefully, I'm, hopefully I'm in the same ballpark as you, is uh, I just like to make friends. And uh, yeah. I think it's cool that you went there not just to shoot a video, but to become friends with these people and to help them out. And see, uh, I'm drawn to people that are just overall nice people. I mean, you know, my my, my channel, there's a, there's a very little known video out there. Maybe I'll put a link to it so people can rediscover it. But I decided about two, two and a half years ago, three years ago, when, when it started getting like, okay, this might be something that I was gonna make myself a little credo video. And so I, I put my little thing out there like, okay, I'm gonna be the nicest guy on YouTube. That's what I wanna be. And, and so that, when I watch your channel, when I, and you know, I just, I had a feeling, you know, this, Matt's gonna be great to talk to, Matt's gonna be great to Skype with. I wanna be that guy's friend because there's just some friendliness about him that, you know, that I re registers with me. So I mean, is, is that one of the goals you're trying to be? Is this yeah. be a, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I, I've talked about this a lot too. Is that uh, I've made a, I made a definitely a conscious effort to, uh, uh, you know, even if it's not making friends, you know, I, I'd love to make friends, and 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 I am very much enjoying. Uh, you know, I've got to know a little bit with uh, uh, Brian Strowski as well, yeah. like Danny Fife, and some of your, you know, through you know through your own little community you have going there, where you have your fans and friends <laughs> and YouTube buddies. Um, and there's other ones outside of that that I've met and things like that. And it's awesome. I love it. Um, all the cool people I'm meeting and interesting people from all different parts of the world. Um, but, you know, the positivity, I think, is my yeah. big thing is I want to be positive on my channel. You are. That's really all it comes down to, I think, for me. Um, you know, there's times where I get tempted to, uh, to make a video about something that's not so positive. And I, and I have, to, have to step my tracks because, you know, I want to make sure my channel is always positive. You know, something that's happened recently was I lost my stepfather just a couple days uh -huh. ago. And um, it, it's very sad. Um, and, and somebody at my, at my work that is watching my videos asked me, are you going to make a, you make like a tribute video for him or something? And I, and I might, I might for the family, 
but I, I probably wouldn't put that on my YouTube channel just because it's sad. I don't want to. I don't want to make people sad. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, if all my viewers were family that would love to see my stepdad, then yeah, but they're not. You know, there are people that don't. You know, that aren't really connected to that. You know, and and, and don't want to. You know, just bring sadness into their life for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, my, like my dad now. Um, you know, not to go off on that on that, on that direction either. But my dad's got ALS, and um, yeah, I've heard you talk about that. And you know, that's tough, man. I, I would never yeah. have guessed. I mean, you know, you know, see all this ice bucket stuff and all that, and and mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it, it only hits like one in one hundred thousand people, and there, my dad gets it, and um, so yeah, it's it, it's you know, so I, I try to. I mean, now and again, you'll see bits of him in videos, and I'm glad I have the videos of him when he was still hale and hearty. You know, you can still, you know, I, I I hope people remember my dad as he was a man. You know, he's he's a Renaissance guy and stay out and strong, and smart, and um, you know, brave kind of guy. Uh, you know, he he was uh, a soldier and and uh, so you said, but you know, now you might watch a honey video or something. There he is, and he's in his chair. But so I, I, there's this part on me that wants people to know that there's you know a life that has to be lived by people with ALS and that it is tough and it's uh, it's a challenge and that we do need to give money to the research and all that yep. and, and so so I'm not sugarcoating it or anything I'm, I'm as he'll let me as he'll allow me there are bits of my dad in there and I'll cherish mm -hmm. every bit of it I mean I, I was watching it yeah. today the other day I was watching a video where he could still walk around a couple years ago and he's showing Nikki how to uh, change supers on her beehive and I said I, I sat and I watched that I said wow man it's it's amazing how different he is now than then yeah. and uh, so yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I try not to bring sadness to people too but you know but yeah you know you know I'm glad I'm making my dad positive. out there you know yeah. Yeah. You know, and that, that reminds me, actually, there is another video I, I, I'm probably going to get started working on soon. There's a, um, I have a, a distant family member that I don't know, you know, really well, but they contacted me, and uh, it's a cousin of my father's, and she has a, uh, she had a son that had um, something called HPE, and uh, it's, a, it's a rare disease, and it, it, a lot of times it's fatal, you know, and the kids don't live too long, and her son passed away, and now mm -hmm. she's part of, of an organization that uh, it brings awareness and helps families. Uh, with children with this disorder, and uh, she wants me to do a video for them. They, their organization is a nonprofit organization called uh, Racing for Hope, and so they've got a race car driver that sponsors them, and she wants me to come film a race and be in the oh. pit crew and and make a video. And I thought that would be so cool. I yeah. love that, and it would bring awareness to something that yeah. you know needs some little light shed on it. You know, I, I've talked to people and told them a little bit about this. Cause I'm excited about the video, and everybody goes, well, I don't know what that is, and, and I honestly I don't know a whole lot about it. I still yeah. got my homework to do because it's something that's not too common, but it's still something I think people need to know about and, uh, and maybe help, help give some money and, and uh, try to find a cure for this, you know. It's awesome you're doing some good things with it, you know. Yeah, because I, mean, I guess there's, uh, from time to time, like, like Daryl Cheeks is a buddy I've made, the guy's feeding kids out in the Philippines, and, yep. and, and you know, I, I know we got kids to feed here, so, and I'm trying to be, you know, not overly focused on just other lands and all but i realize that what daryl's doing is pretty special and uh he's a special I've guy you know? a lot and i've become friends with him you know finding him through your channel and uh daryl's a great guy and what he's doing is he's, it, it, i mean i am i am just utterly amazed yeah i'm, I'm i'll never be that that good a human being man I was, that's right. <laughs> right right you know i mean you know, although you would love to think of yourself as somebody that uh that you know that could do something like that i mean to actually go out there and live in another country <coughs> with just the focus of, of feeding kids and, and to, to uproot your entire life. I know. You know, you can tell when he talks to you that <coughs> he's a guy who's probably, I don't, I don't know where he's from, but it's probably not too far from you. Yeah, Tennessee you know, or someplace. Uh, or maybe he's from South, I think he's from South Carolina, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I mean, he's in the Philippines. I mean, it's, Crazy. It's amazing to me. Hey, uh, uh, well, I, I don't want to, I, I do have a few more questions about, and this is kind of technical stuff, so I'm going to shift away from the touchy-feely to, <laughs> okay, what 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 gear are you, you showed me the iPhone, we know you have, or not the iPhone, but the uh, the IBM or the uh, Microsoft Windows phone, phone, Windows phone, and, you, and what we know you use a GoPro, but is there anything else, what other kind of gear are you using out there, Matt? That's pretty much it. I've got two GoPros, and I'm here so I can show you guys. I've got a uh, 
uh, Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, and then the basic uh, entry level $129 GoPro, which, uh, you know, I sing this thing's praises a lot because a lot of people ask me, you know, uh, that, that don't know a lot about GoPro that'll see me out, and I'm sure you probably get this if you're out with it, and somebody will see it on the end of your stick or something yeah. and go, what is that, you know? And uh, and they'll go, well, how much is it? I want one, and, and I tell them, the, well, this one cost me $400, and they will then forget it, but this one is only $129. Yeah. You can actually get one of these. And the quality on it, it you know, it shoots 1080. Yeah. Um, and in 1080, if I put the GoPro Hero 3 Plus in 1080, I can't tell a difference. Can't tell a difference, no. And so, I mean, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. But most of the time, I don't use all the bells and whistles. Exactly, most neither. Of the time, I'm yeah. just shooting in 1080. Yeah. And so for you know stuff like that, I use it. I, I every time I do a video, I pretty at least nowadays I use all three of them equally. You know, my phone and the two GoPros. And and, that's, that's and, and are you are you editing with Premiere Pro most of the time now? Yes. Wow. Yeah, every time now, I've got the I got the whole suite. Ah. And so there's so I'm uh I'm loving it. And I'm still learning. Uh, I think I've got Premiere Pro down pretty good, but I still yeah. want to learn some After Effects stuff. And uh, I don't know that there's much left. I know, I know there's they've integrated a lot of it into yeah. Premiere Pro, yeah. and I've learned that from watching your stuff. And uh, but I know there is still some cool things that uh, I don't know if the stuff I would do too much, but it is cool. You know, it's interesting. I've, are you are, 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 are you are you are you PC or Mac? PC. PC. Yeah. yeah that, that's one of the reasons I have the uh, Windows Phone is that yeah. it talks to my computer and I have an Xbox. They all three connect, you know, uh, seamlessly. If I take a picture with my phone, I can just click on a button on my computer and there it is without me ever even sending it to the computer. They have, they're on the same um, SkyDrive type deal. And, and there's a lot of cool things, uh, especially now that got Windows 10 is out. Um, you know, my phone has pretty much already had a lot of the features for Windows 10, like Cortana. Have you heard of Cortana? Uh, you know, I can't upgrade for some reason. I have a Windows 7 PC, and, and I can I and I cannot get it to upgrade. I've got some glitch. I, I've tried it ten times, and it won't do it. So I don't yeah. know what I don't know what I got going on. But yeah, tell me about Cortana. What is that? That is a. Um, it, it's like Siri for the iPhone. Ah. It's like your personal assistant, but they 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 say it's way better and i don't know a lot about siri i've never had an iphone but i gotta say she's really cool yeah. and my wife she makes my wife jealous that's, that's, her, that's her other girlfriend is this computer girl in your phone uh you know she she does all kinds of cool stuff you talk to her and you say you know uh you know remind me to pick up um you know toilet paper when i'm at walmart next yeah and then by the satellite location if i get near walmart she goes are you going to walmart don't forget toilet paper. Wow. I mean, it is, it, and that's just one of the little things she does. It, it's amazing the things she can do. She learns from me. She knows from my patterns when I go to work, the path I'm going to take. Uh, and she'll tell me beforehand, hey, by the way, there's traffic on this highway. You might want to go this other way. and Because I think you're about to go to work because you usually go at this time. And this is where, you know, and she, and she learns from me. She knows who my wife is because... Uh, you know, I contact her the most or something. Yeah. I don't know. She learns from me. So if I say, call my wife, it, I don't have to say my wife's name. She wow. knows who my wife is, even though she's not said in my phone as wife. You know I, I mean? think I think you should do a YouTube video about this. <laughs> I about it. I yeah. About it. Yeah. I think you I got mean, a lot of passion for Cortana. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I know it works for you really well. And I'm always worried that this was a, a problem of mine, especially when I had trouble growing in the beginning was I was kind of all over the place with my videos, Yeah, you know, where I'm showing, you know, tech stuff and, and then I'm showing, you know, a waterfall or something, a location or something uh, like that. So I've, I've been trying to focus my channel a lot better yeah. into, into some categories that, uh, you know, I can you know, have a fan base that are all into this category and not, okay, well, I, you know, I got, I joined, you know, I subscribed because I wanted to see travel stuff. And he's showing me GoPro, you know, yeah, gear, yeah. you know. So, you know, I, I don't know if I'll stick to that or if I'll say, hey, heck. You, you, uh, hey, hey, I, what I got to say, the only advice I've got to give is do what you think is right. Um, for me, I just, you know, it's like I have no strategy about this at yeah. all. <laughs> Other than I just want to be a nice guy. <laughs> uh, I'll... I'll answer any question anybody sends my way if I have time to do it. And I'll just anything I think is cool, whether it's a bug on a tree 
or a, you know, or a beautiful landscape or a software or, you know, the kind of toilet paper I like to use or the kind of underwear I like to wear. I'm liable to put out anything. And, and, and you know, to me, to me, it's just, that's just me. I'm, I have just 10,000 interests. So that's sort of just my MO is do anything, throw it all at the wall. Too. I've got 10,000 interests <laughs> as well. And I'm always worried that, that I, you know, if I do that, no strategy that people aren't going to like it, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. You, you're living proof. And I, you know, to me though, I think that, you know, I love your stuff because you're into so many, like we talked before, you know, so much of the same stuff, you know, the yeah. basketball or the, you know, the, you, you travel and, and show the, the mountains and things like that. I love that. I love GoPro. And I think that's how I became a fan was like searching, you know, I got my GoPro, my first GoPro. Okay. Now I got to learn how to use it. And Tony Lee Glenn, <laughs> uh, Tony Lee Glenn's video about the GoPro. And then I, you know, I need to get better software. Okay. Let's get Adobe. Okay. Let's look for how to learn how to use this. Oh, there's Tony Lee. Again, <laughs> and, and it's like, you have so many things that I, that I'm into, you know what I mean? But you know, how many other people, you know what I mean? Are all into those same things. Apparently a lot of them because you're getting really big. I'm well, sure. you know, I, that, I, that, that's the thing that's odd is, uh, is I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm sort of my own worst enemy and I really do because, okay. So if you look, okay, so I have 8,500 subscribers, but I have 1300 videos. You know, when you start, you start looking at all the stuff I've put out there, it's, it's stupid. It's really, it's really, it's stupid. That I put so many stuff out, so many things out there, but uh, so it, 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 it's almost like I'm becoming popular in spite of myself. <laughs> so no, don't, don't follow, do not follow my example. I think that is the strategy right there, and that's what I've been trying to do. I, you know, really, honestly, I think, and I think it's helped me grow this this year. It, you know, I've had a lot of growth this year um, compared to where I was, you know, at the beginning of the year, or the beginning of the summer. And I think a lot of it is I start pumping out videos more yeah. often. And I, you know, even if even if I knew, hey, this may not get viewed more than twenty or thirty times, I think it's cool, and I'm going to put it out there. Um, and I, you know, I try to do a couple a week and I don't always get to do, you know, two or three a yeah. week, but I try. And, uh, I think that's a good strategy. I think it keeps people's attention. Yeah. You well, it keep, I mean? it, 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 they say, Hey, I got to tune in and see what Matt's up to. And, and you know, yeah. the, the biggest challenge I run into now that, that I used to not run into is, is I have probably 200 people that I want to watch their videos now and you don't have time to do it. Like, wow. you know, you know, I, I, I try to tune in and watch, see what Rich is doing. I try to tune in and see what you're doing. I try to keep an eye on what Brian's doing. But at the same time, I am working a full-time job and I'm doing freelance work. And then, you know, I'm making my own videos. And, and, and it's just, it, it's, uh, I wish, I look forward to, Tony's big dream is that someday I'll be able just, just to do YouTube. You know, yeah. I, I would love it if I spent five or six hours a day doing a YouTube video and then four or five hours a day watching other people's. You know, yeah. and just enjoying what these other people. Oh, and, you know, I wish, I wish, I, I wish I could work for YouTube. You know, or but you yeah. know, hey, that's never going to happen. I'm not young yeah, enough or cool know. enough. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they wanted to hire a guy like you. I, I mean, don't know. You've got the background and you've got the fans now. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's like I could say, Tony's big dream. I, I just want to say this, brother. It is so cool. You spent. We've been talking for like 48 minutes. Doesn't seem like we've been talking fifteen minutes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but we should we should be talking about once a month. We ought to get on, and it, I'm just throwing this out there. If you're game, because you know, Rich and I try to do something about once a month. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I'd like to start partnering with some people that's channels I like. One of the things I will say is the little core group of friends that we've developed. People like you, people like Rich, people like Brian. Uh, you know, people like Michael Kincaid, Danny, the Danny Fives, so all these. What's interesting, I swear, I believe there are enough talented people that, that, that I've become engaged with through it, through YouTube that if I had to pull together, a, a, if somebody were to ever say, Tony, I'll give you a million dollars to make a documentary, you know, or whatever like that, I think I could call 15 people to help me go do it. I think I could put a movie crew together with just guys that I've met on YouTube that are really put to get, you know, Laz uh, Avalos. I don't know if you know that guy. Uh, 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 what's his, I can't try to think of his, of his uh, YouTube handle. Just, I can't really, you know, Laz is a real videographer, better, way better than me. And, and it's just interesting to me that, that, you know, I can't help but believe there's some reason 
we're all coming together. It's it's almost like there's yeah. this little brotherhood that's happening that I don't understand why, but there's some yeah. something getting ready to happen or something going on. It may be a couple of years from now, but but yeah. I, I, I mean I'm interested to see where this little social experiment we're doing takes us. You know? Yeah, yeah. I definitely think you you have yourself a little community. You know, and I'm I, glad I, you're part of it, brother. Just want you to know, super glad I, to. I, yeah, I'm honored to be part of it. Oh yeah. man, I'm, I'm honored that you're that you're out there and you take time to talk with me. And uh, I just want to say best to your family. I, I love it that you're a family guy. I love seeing your family and you know watching you get, take, take those kids to see the horse and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta you, I gotta tell you, one of my daughters is is her life has changed after that meeting that horse. Uh, you know, the, my, the, the blonde, the Jasmine is her yeah. name, my, my youngest, um, the horse seemed to be attracted to her. Yeah, maybe because the, the, they're the same size and they look yeah. each other in the eye, you know. When he got loose and ran ran wild because he's still a baby, he ran away from everybody else. But he kept going up to her and stuff uh -huh. and letting her pet him and stuff. And she just felt like she was something special because of that. And yeah. she wants a horse now. <laughs> she's got herself a stuffed horse she just got and carries her around and uh you know she's a she's a horse lover now after that one yeah. Dude, that was that a really great. Good experience for us we're, we 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 i've always grew up and lived in the inner city downtown in the gritty inner city and uh you know after our kids started getting a little older we said we need to get out into a safer better environment for the kids and so we're just outside the city now i'm technically in indianapolis but there's a sign about three houses down that welcome to the next town, you know. Wow. So I'm in the, I'm in the country. There's cornfields all around me, um, and and I'm loving it. And we're we're getting some new experiences out of that, like like the neighbor with a whore purse and things like that that we would never had yeah. in the inner city. So, oh man. You know, I, you know, life is changing a lot for me, and uh, you know, I, I'm getting to see and do a lot of interesting new things, you know. And I'm in a real happy place. I mean, I've never been happier. And uh, and I and I love YouTube for being able to document that and <laughs> yeah. nothing else. You know what I mean? Yep. And share it. You know, I think it would be cool if I did get another, you know, few thousand subscribers by next year, and uh, and, and started gaining some traction and things like that. That keeps me going. But you know, if I didn't, I would probably still do it just because you know. I love it so well, you know, here's my thing: is, is uh, I'm gonna say this in closing. Uh, we might talk after this is over. I'll, I'll do a closing for the YouTube video, though, in that uh, you're going to dig Matt's channel if you subscribe. So if you watched this this far, uh, go watch his channel because he's a cool guy. His family's fun to watch. His videos are captivating and interesting and fun. And he's showing you Indiana in a way I've not seen Indiana shown. And uh, he's, he's teaching me that it's a very cool state, a cool place, and that there's good people there. And so uh, my recommendation is go subscribe to Matt's Big Dream. Stay in touch with him. Tell him what you think of the videos. Give him some encouragement. And, uh, Matt, I just hope it continues to grow for you, brother. And God bless you and your family, man. I mean, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for, be thank you for being a fan. I mean, thank you for watching my videos all these. You've been watching my videos for a good long while. I see you pop up all the mm -hmm. time. And you yep. don't know what that means to me, man. So thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, we're we're going to meet much. one. We're going to meet one of these days. If I have to drive my big butt all the way up to Indy to see you. Hey, <laughs> not, if I, hey not if I don't drive there first. <laughs> are, you on the to to... are you on the south side or north side of Indianapolis? Uh, I am on the southeast side. Southeast side. Okay, well, you're close to me then. <laughs> uh, I'm right off of Highway 74, which takes yeah. you directly to Cincinnati. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been to Cincinnati, too. So I guess I have driven that route before. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I missed off I Interstate 40 at Valdez. So come see me sometime, man. If you're ever, I, I, I've seen some beach video or photos of you and your family. Uh, well, what beach do you go to typically? Uh, well, we just last year for our family vacation last summer, we decided to go to Destin, Florida. Destin, yeah. Yeah, and so we had never been. Um, I've been to, my grandma used to live in Florida, so I've been to Florida. I've been all over the country when I was younger. I traveled a lot when I was younger, got to see a lot of the part of the country. But, um, you know, we, our kids had never been, I don't think, out of the state. And, uh, and my wife had never seen the ocean uh, until, wow. well, until our honeymoon. Yeah. Uh, you seen it from the cruise ship. We didn't do too much beaching on that. But, yeah. uh, 
uh, you know, we wanted to go to the beach and take the kids and stuff like that. And and Destin is, I don't know if you noticed, but it's way up in the panhandle. So yeah. it's a lot closer than having to drive down to Tampa or Orlando or somewhere like that. Yeah. It's only about 12 hours straight south, from due south from us. So I, I just didn't, I didn't know if you, you know, some of the pictures I looked, I said, I wonder if that's like Myrtle Beach or something. I was thinking, okay, he'd have to come by my way if he went to Myrtle Beach sometime. But anyway. <laughs> uh, else, you probably know about this because you said you've been up here a little bit. There's something else I probably should show one of these days on my channel, and that's the Indiana Dunes. Ah, uh, no, I don't know about that. What, really? There's that's dunes? A, uh, that's a Lake Michigan. It's uh, oh. on the very northern tip of Indiana, oh. and they've got beaches, beautiful beaches, wow. like sandy beaches. You yeah, know, I would like to see that. It's like a, an ocean. It's a freshwater ocean is really what it is. That is crazy. That is very cool. I would like to see that. Well, Matt, awesome. I'm not going to keep you any longer away from your family. Man, i got to go back and pay some attention to the wife and the pug. Yeah. <laughs> Peace, my friend. Take it easy. All right. You too, All right, brother. Take it easy.